My name is Alicia García Holgado. I'm researcher in the Grial Research Group of the University of Salamanca, and I will introduce the European project Open Game. This project was funded under the Erasmus Plus program. The project involves six universities across Europe. In particular, the project is coordinated by the Universidad Internacional de La Rioja in Spain, and the consortium is composed by the University of Salamanca through the Grial Research Group, the University of Nantes with the involvement of the UNESCO Chair in Open Educational Resources, the Universidad de Aberta, in Portugal through the Distance Education and E-Learning Lab, the Baden-Württemberg Cooperative State University, Kassrud, and finally, the Dublin City University through the National Institute for Digital Learning. The Open Game project aims to develop the capacity of university educators to work with open educational practices covering not only the use and production of open educational resources, but also the course design, the implementation of open and engaging pedagogies, and the learning outcomes assessment. There are already projects, reports, handbooks, and other initiatives that support open education in higher education, but the Open Game project contributes to the open ecosystem, applying gamification to the open education. The specific objectives of the project cover foster awareness of higher education educators to adopt open educational practices in their daily teaching by mainstreaming successful educator-centered practices. Also, the second a specific objective is to increase the motivation of higher education educators towards adoption of open educational practices by providing attractive and motivating testing environments as a gamified experience. And finally, the project aims to develop the capacity of higher education educators to work with the open approaches through an engaging gamified learning experience on open educational practices. The work plan is divided in five intellectual outputs that are related to achieve the main objectives of the project. The first output is focused on a handbook of successful open teaching practice. The second output is focused on the design curriculum and content development of the course that is an input for the third output that is the online learning game. The output four covers the accreditation scheme that has an input on the output two and the output three. And finally, the last output is focused on the open game toolkit that is mainly focused on provide guidelines and documents to support the open game network. Regarding the results, we want to introduce the first results related to the output one, the handbook of successful open teaching practices. This handbook is composed by 24 successful open teaching practices related to the eight educator challenges that can be tackled through open approaches. And also, inside the handbook, we can find the Open Education Competencies Framework for Higher Education Educators. Both results are related and has an input in the other parts of the project. The eight challenges in which the open practice are categorized in the handbook are related to the open competencies in described in the framework. The Open Educational Framework for Higher Education educators provide an overview of the aptitudes, knowledge and skills that educators should master in order to teach in the open. The framework is organized into two competencies areas, OER and Open Pedagogies, divided into eight competencies and the knowledge and skills of each competencies. Also, the framework is completed with 
an attitude and also there is a prerequisite necessary to uh, achieve the open competencies. Mainly, it's necessary to be digitally competent. Regarding the next step of the project, our focus on finish the course curriculum and content that will be available in the next week in the project website. And also, we are working on the development and definition of the online learning game based on the course contents, curriculum and assessment and also in the 24 practice identified in the first output. Thank you very much. Thank you.